Hi. If you've seen this video, you'll know what it's like to listen to me talk unscripted. I'm trying that again, so we'll see how it goes. I'm in the middle of deconstructing Twisted Colossus. I left it up for two weeks. I'm now working on taking it down. I'll put some pictures on screen of the disassembly. Um, my brother is helping me disassemble it, which shout out to my brother Drew. He has put up with me turning this room upside down for the past two years to build these roller coasters. I've moved around furniture, I've went into the hallway, I've had to, like, you have to step over stuff right now to get into this room. It's like, it's a mess. There's no way to get to the TV without finagling your way around connects. But he's put up with it and it's great. So thank you to him for that. I think the most mean thing I did was block the entire TV with the first turn of Iron Gwazi that just like, he worked around it. He sat off to the side and like played um, Wii with that. He kind of uses this TV to play his games. You'll usually see him in my two time lapses off to the side playing something. This one isn't a time lapse because I'm not sure if I'll be able to disassemble this whole coaster within like a day or a weekend. So it's sort of a challenge to keep the camera in the same place the whole time. Which sort of leads me to my announcement thing. Um, I hope you weren't expecting something big because this is kind of a, not really a positive announcement, but it's going to be a while before I build another Kinex coaster. I've gotten significantly busier with the start of school. I'm a sophomore now, so I won't really have as much time to dedicate to it. Marching band has been especially busy. I play the saxophone in that and I love it. Um, I'm also taking some tough classes. I just, while I love doing this, I, I'm happy to move on for now. I might revisit it later in the year, but right now I'm moving forward. So other channels to watch, cause I want to like say some things about channels that have supported me or inspired me. Um, Calm Prisoner. He has, I would say, the most similar channel to mine on YouTube. He creates coasters just like me. Um, he films them really well. He's stayed with me since like the start of Smiler. He's commented on all of my videos. So thank you so much to him. Um, also, Coaster Writer. He, um, another big inspiration to me. He's been uploading these really well-themed coasters since like the start of his channel 12 years ago. Right now he's been uploading some older content from like SS Coasters, so it's really, really fascinating. Also, Johnny from 3D Coaster, he built me the, um, well, he 3D printed a GoPro rig for, you know what, give me a sec, I'm gonna grab it. Here is Johnny's 3D printed GoPro rig car. It's how I was able to film the POV. It was very, very useful. So just check out his channel. He doesn't upload too often and it's not really connect stuff, but it's just very impressive model roller coaster stuff, 3D printing, very, very cool. Um, I also really like Roller Coaster Crafter. He builds with the micro track, but I just really love the personality of his channel. Simon, he's a really nice guy. Um, I used to like hang out in his live streams all the time. So a very, just a very cool channel. Um, other older channels, they don't upload anymore, but Connexpert, Ryan O'Neill, IOA Geek, Helmet SSC, um, all have very, very good content on them. And, um, formerly Ryan Perkins, he made a new channel, Connex Creations. He uploads very, very frequently. Uh, he uses the SS track. He's very talented. He's been building for like 12 years. So has Coaster Writer. A lot of very experienced people still building on YouTube. So that makes me really happy. Um, one other thing. There's a Twitter account impersonating me. This is not a joke. Um, they're re-uploading my stuff on Twitter, which doesn't really bother me. It does bother me that they're, that they're using somebody else's coaster as their banner. Um, oh, and they're also commenting just a bunch of negative stuff all over Twitter. And I don't want to spread negativity. I know it's Twitter, but I, you know, I don't want them doing it under the name Dry Eye Builds. So I'll link it in the description. If you have Twitter, report it, please. Um, that's all the news that I have now. I'll put more um, on-screen videos of disassembly pictures. The coaster always looks kind of cursed without the track on it. It just looks really weird to have this like 
husk of a structure without the bright green and purple and I don't know. I don't want to make this video too long, so if I don't upload until 2022, thank you for making YouTube fun, commenting, watching, and just being along for the ride. So, see ya.